As PPC marketers, we should be getting used to automation within the Google Ads platform. Already, Google can automate your audience targets, your bidding, even your search ads, and yes, there is automated ad extensions. So sometimes you may see that your automated ad extensions perform fairly well. Other times you see that your manual extensions that you're setting up can control the message and you could better direct that user to where you want them to go or put different value messages in front of their faces. So in this video, I wanna show you where automated extensions live within the Google Ads platform and then also how you can turn them off if you feel performance isn't up to par. When you are in the Google Ads interface, it's no surprise that your automated extensions are going to live under the Ads and Extensions section of Google Ads. Once we click on the Automated Extensions report, you will then see a list of all the automated extensions that were running within the account at some point. Now in this example, we see a few expired extensions, so social extensions are not around anymore. But when they were, they were enabled at some point within this account. If we see the date range above as December 2019, we can see there are two automated ad extensions that have zero stats. If I change the date range to all time, then we can see the stats for social extensions when those automated extensions were available. But just going back to the original date range, and just like many other views and many different reports, you can customize your columns to see the proper stats that you would like to see or the KPIs that will allow you to assess your performance. Now you can compare how your automated extensions are performing with your manual extensions that you're setting up yourself within your account, whether it's at the account, campaign, or ad group level. Now, if for whatever reason, you do not want your automated extensions to run, whether it is a performance issue or whether you wanna make sure you're controlling your brand message, there is a way for you to turn it off. And to do that, it's kind of tricky because it's almost like Google is bearing this feature of how to turn it off just so you can't find it. But to turn off automated ad extensions, you have to go all the way to the right hand side. You see the three dots that says more options, click on it, then click on advanced options. Here you are taken to an information page where you are asked how you would like automated extensions to work within your account. By default, in every account, Google's gonna have it set to use all automated extensions that typically boost ads performance. Very opinion based on that one. But if you wanna turn it off, you just have to select the other option of turn off specific automated extensions. You would then have to choose which extensions you would like turned off. And if you want to, you can select an optional reason of why you are turning off the extensions. It could be concerned about performance, compliance issues, it's very common in certain industries. You just want more control, it's just not working for you, or you can list out another reason if you wanna give out that feedback to Google. I'll just choose one reason for now, don't need an additional comment, and then I can click turn off. Now you have the option to do this for every single automated extension that shows up. Unfortunately, you just can't select every single one at a time, you have to do this one by one. It doesn't take that long to do as we could see. So for whatever reason, if I also want automated app extensions turned off, again, just for more control, now automated app extensions are also turned off. And once you have done this for all the automated extensions you do not want to run anymore, all you have to do is click done and you're all set. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 